In this video, we will see how the empirical rule can be used on bell-shaped distributions. In this problem, the weight of an organ in an adult male has a bell-shaped distribution with a mean of 300 grams. So the first thing we should do with our empirical rule chart is place 300 in the center because that is our mean. And we have a standard deviation of 50 grams. So he full sigma and we're taking our mean and we're adding sigma to it. So 300 plus 50 would give us 350 for one standard deviation. And 300 minus 50 gives us 250. So minus one standard deviation. And we can continue the pattern adding 50 every single time. So 350 plus 50 would give us 400 for our two standard deviations. If we add another 50, we would have 450. If we go in the opposite direction, 250 minus 50 gives us 200 for two standard deviations. And if we subtract another 50, we have 150 here. So setting up the diagram first makes it easier for you to provide your calculations. So part A, about 68% of organs will be between what two weights? So using our empirical rule, it says within one standard deviation, we should see 68% of our data. So if we highlight where these bars fall, one standard deviation is here. So that means it should be between 250 and 350. The second question is the what percentage of organs is between 150 and 450? So looking down at the bottom, 150 is here at three standard deviations and 450 is here at a positive three standard deviations. So we follow this up to the top of our chart Within three standard deviations, we should see 99.7% of our data. Question C, what percentage of organs weighs less than 150 or more than 450? So there are two different ways you can approach this. What we know is 100% of our data lies on this bell-shaped curve. And the previous question asked us what percentage lies between 150 and 450. So 99.7%. The next question says how much is outside of those values. So if we do 100% minus our 99.7%, this will give us how much is outside of those values. The other method would be to add these percentages on the outsides together. So this gives us the percentage of values that are less than three standard deviations away from the mean. And on this side, it gives us the values that lie above three standard deviations from the mean. And part D, what percent of organs weigh between 200 and 450 grams? So let's erase our previous information. And if we highlight 250, starts here and we want to go up to 450 here so if we add together all of these percentages that will give us 97.35 percent 34 plus 34 plus 13.5 plus 2.35